What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, y'all, we're going to give y'all a quick little recap of the baddies, girl. Some cute, some quick, some eight minutes. Y'all know how we do. But listen, before we even get into that, y'all make sure y'all check out the Patreon. That is where we originally reacted to this episode. Well, all of the episodes. Just check out the Patreon link is in the uh, description. So first of all, when we first start the show, they from the last the last episode, which is where Natalie was going back and forth with Krishan and Tesseki. Uh, she's talking about how she was dodging, ducking and dodging water, ducking and dodging bottles, ducking and dodging fruit. Okay, but she wasn't ducking and dodging shit. She wasn't necessarily ducking and dodging at all. Um, but you know, she spoke about that, and Krishan was talking to her and basically saying that she was fake. Da da da, and um, yeah, girl, that was really it with this scene. She was being real childish with the da 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 da. Yeah, <clears throat> very childish. Y'all gotta see this face. Where is this face at with the la 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 la? <laughs> I can't find it. But girl, that's what happened with that. So Tesseki was, you know, as you can see. Yeah, I want this part to come. Hold on, because it plays a part on what what I want y'all to um. Man. Just like I never put my hands on anything. It's right here. Just play. Just play. I really need this face for the uh thumbnail. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it, y'all. La 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 la. Oh Child. my gosh, she's so childish. Anyway, because girl, it just won't come fast enough. Uh, she was making the face. The la la la. There we go. La 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 la. Right. And she was basically cutting Krishan off. Something I would have done because Krishan would have got on my damn nerves uh, with uh, continuously talking, trying to over talk me. Anyway, so that happened or whatever. After that, uh, they were going out to the club. So, you know, they're getting in a sprinters per use. Tesseki is um, getting in the same sprinter as Krishan because remember, they was getting along at this moment. As you can see, Krishan with her pregnant ass sitting over there in that Sprinter. So at some point in the Sprinter, Tesseki said, uh, well, she spoke to somebody on the phone, Tay-Tay, and said, Tay-Tay, it sounded like Tay-Tay and AJ is coming. This is Tesseki looking puzzled because Krishan looked at her and said, bitch, what you mean? Like, what you mean AJ is coming? I don't like AJ, basically. So she felt like Taseki was being an op at that moment. She was already feeling some type of way that she didn't punch and beat up on whoa, Vicky. Mm -hmm. So Taseki looking confused because she like, bitch, I said Tay Tay, not AJ. So after this, Krishan is absolutely over it. Over it because she don't believe Taseki. Taseki is absolutely aggravated because she's saying that Krishan got on her damn nerves. For this entire time anyway, okay? So they both are absolutely just over each other um, at this moment. So this is Krishan trying, trying to say, girl, you said AJ. I know you said AJ. Anyway, so everybody is looking in confusion. This is Natalie on her own bus, though. Everybody's in confusion or whatever, but Natalie is riding in her separate bus because she don't want to fight other folk. So here is where Taseki and Krishan is getting into it because Krishan is running her mouth. And Tesseki starts to run hers. So Tesseki proceeds to get into Krishan's face, which Krishan felt threatened because she's pregnant. So she felt like Tesseki was going to beat her up, right? Mm -hmm. Or oh, fight her, excuse me. Fight her. She felt like she was going to fight her. So that's when she got real distraught and she wanted to get off the bus. Tesseki was like, get one of them girls that got an issue to that fight you. Got, you. Yeah, to fight for it, you. Yeah, it's basically. like she told her to do it. You yeah. know, so y'all know if you tell Krishan to do something, girl, she going to do it. So uh, this is still them going back and forth. Krishan decides she wants to get off the bus or the sprint or whatever. As she getting off the sprinter, girl, as you can see this egg yolk <laughs> over here, somebody tossed the egg at, at Krishan. I believe they hit her with one, though, if I ain't mistaken. They didn't hit her with one. Or what, it, what happened is, I guess when it, hit the sprinter it probably splashed yeah and it got on her arm so at this time to Tesseki trying to tell her to get her ass back on the bus because you know you're doing a lot and um she would not get on the bus she was angry and wanted to get on the other bus 
And uh, not allegedly, but she's saying that Tesseki has spit on her and some more shit. Because remember, she got back on, but they were arguing. Mm -hmm. So this is Sky telling them to calm down. Everyone love each other. Uh, But anyway, she when Krishan got back on the bus, she Tesseki, Krishan said Tesseki spit on her, y'all. I didn't see it. We didn't get to see it. They didn't show it or nothing. Well, but her face, her face was wet. Uh, right here. And that's when she was on the phone and she was trying to say that she wanted to get in the car. She didn't want to be in the hands of Zeus. Yeah, but that was after somebody had already splashed her with water. That was the second time when she was trying to get out of the sprint. Oh, well, she claimed that Tesseki had spit on her. So, so yeah, it, somebody had splashed her ass with water and she probably thought she spit on her, but she did. I don't know. I ain't see that. Right, so this is the point where she she was ready to go, but she of course she did her performance because apparently she gets paid for these performances. Um, let me move this from here before we get a nip slip. All right, so Natalie is absolutely over it for some reason because she was saying something about Krishan was doing whatever. This ain't the Krishan show. If y'all want this to be the Krishan show, then just have Krishan on the show. I don't really know what Krishan did. But she Natalie, didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, basically, I feel like Natalie was upset because when they got to the club, now these girls were separated. So Krishan, Tiseki, and a couple other chicks was on the sprinter together. So they arrived. Right. Krishan decided that she about to get this out the way. She ready to go. So she went on. She's performing. I believe where this took a turn at is when Natalie entered the room and they were on the stage without her because this is her show. Um. Okay, but if y'all want to make this the Krishan show, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, then do that. It's pretty much what she was saying because Krishan pretty much ran what the fuck they did that night. Okay. Because she didn't have no say so. Okay, so she a little... Nobody entered together. She a little aggravated that she wasn't running. Yeah, shit. you know, this her shit, right? Right, that was that what mm, she said. That what she said. Well, so Natalie was aggravated and she decided to leave. Mm. Um, So as she was walking out, uh, Mariah Lynn performed, as you can see. Um, Roly performed. Roly performed. Krishan. Uh, DJ Scott got T's music. T performed. As you can see, she getting her dance on. As she's dancing and doing her performance, everybody else left. So it was just these three left, and they was partying. DJ was trying to get them, I mean, security was trying to get them to leave, blah, blah, blah. So then everybody gets in the Sprinter, and for some reason, uh, I don't know why they didn't show it, but they said the cameras, while the while the cameras were down, mm. it went off. All right. So... You know, they didn't have time to pick their stuff up before it all took time, you know, took place. Right. So this is when Tesseki allegedly got jumped or whatever. So she gets jumped and she is pissed. So she ready to just fight everybody. Um, She can't fight Krishan. Krishan is in the bus, by the way. Uh, and they there. said Tesseki was on a, a, a security guard's um, back. Probably was. Said she was on the security guard back and, and she got jumped. Oh, that's when she got That's even that's crazy. crazy. So my thing is, how the hell didn't the security beat both of their ass? Because these security ain't really there to they protect them, I feel like. They ain't. They ain't. They don't but protect yeah. them ever. No, they don't. But yeah, that that is what happened. So after they have their little debacle, a, a huge fight broke out and a, some guy was fighting somebody. And this is where that blur is. And to be honest with y'all, I don't know what the fuck that was about. Y'all let us know down in the comments because I really have no clue what that was about. Oh, and actually, this is the scene mm-hmm. where Krishan got spat on, she say, mm-hmm. by her sister. Mm-hmm. So she was ready to go. And that is how they ended up in the hotel room when they're right here. Mm-hmm. Got it. So everybody getting their hair braided. Uh, Krishan looking aggravated. All them, uh, you know, they talking about what happened last night. And I guess they're, she getting her hair braided. 
And, uh, well, she didn't have her hair braided, but I feel like they was getting ready for the scene or whatever. And it, it's given that fight was staged. Um, but I could be wrong because they keep talking about it like this really, like, happened. Like, it's really a problem. Um, Krishan said it wasn't, like, it was Cav, and then she had come back and say it was real. Who knows, y'all? Don't know. So, um... As you can see, Taseki was just ready to go to war, child. So she spoke to Mariah Lynn. Mariah Lynn said, if anything pop off and they try to jump you, bitch, I'm jumping in. Y'all yeah. know Mariah Lynn ain't no hoe. Um, so right here, Natalie uh, was speaking to Scotty about everything that was going on. Scotty and... Um, and whoa, Vicky, honey. Oh, girl, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> whoa Vicky, looking like God loves you. She's looking like world peace right now. <sighs> she a trip, y'all. Oh, my God. What little bit of, um, I guess, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what was it supposed to Because she was scared. What what little bit she gained, uh, okay. she lost again <laughs> in this conversation. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is like the next day because she didn't go to the club, y'all. So she this, started the conversation off with what happened in the house while she was in the house. So that's this is oh. the, that's why she looking like that. She was like, well, it started in the house. Right. And we was downstairs taking shots and stuff. And then Krishan and her sister came in. Right. Girl, look at Whoa Vicky. Girl. <laughs> She's like, oh, my God, this happened every all okay. while I was upstairs. I was asleep. <laughs> so then she didn't go out that night. The next day, uh, excuse me, after that conversation, they got to talk about what happened at the club. Yeah. So, child, well, Vicky, if she was deciding on staying, she ended up leaving again. Look how into it she is. She was like, oh. But the fear she had on her face was priceless, y'all. So, um... All of them in the kitchen speaking about what's going on, how they going to do whatever they going to do for the night. Say wasn't drinking. Me. Okay. Uh, Mariah Lynn walks in to tell Natalie what was going on. And she said that, you know, her name Ben and she ain't in it. But if somebody trying to jump, that Seki, then I'm not letting it happen. You Period. know what I'm saying? Or like a real bitch should. All right. And she just, this is her face. She letting her know I'm not letting it happen. Oh, All wow. while Natalie gets a call on a telephone. Right. From Biggie. From Biggie. So apparently. Now Mariah Lynn looking like this. Why Mariah? What's going on with Mariah Lynn and Biggie? I don't know. I don't even know where that came from. But apparently it's beef. If it ain't beef, she just don't want to be around it. Because it don't really give me beef. It just gives me aggravation. Well, I think her and Biggie end up fighting. Ooh, child. If I ain't mistaken. Probably because she was aggravated with, with Biggie's soul. Something, child. <laughs> so everybody thinking that they about to go out to Have the a club. a good time. Right. But they ended up outside in the backyard <laughs> with the lights. That nigga got some big arms. Okay. And uh, and one doing shit with him. <clears throat> hello. Got the slowest, big biggest security guard I ever seen in my life. Over. So they in the backyard trying to figure out what the hell going on. It's 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 ironic that Mariah Lynn has this on. But anyway, Taseki is ready to fight. She's looking at Natalie like, bitch, I don't like you either. Well, you know, Mariah Lynn had that on because that's after the conversation that they had on the phone. And she heard that Biggie was coming. Oh, uh, OK. So Krishan, uh, not Krishan, Taseki and Natalie end up hugging it out because, you know, they never really had an issue. It was Krishan throwing Taseki up under the bus. <laughs> uh, well, we ended up finding out because uh, she didn't want her on the show. Mm -hmm. So what Krishan was actually saying, she said Natalie was saying. So anyway, they squashed that like two grown women. And then these niggas come looking like the Three Stooges. Okay. Now, I don't know why they had on matching outfits. Well, they could have been her, her dance people for on the stage. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Well, she got to have like somebody that. to protect her because her sister ain't going to protect her. So now she got to have some extra bodies on the stage. Well, so you got to look uniformed. Well, Krishan, <laughs> Krishan told, Krishan said that they was about to fight Taseki and she hoped that they can fight because Taseki's a big bitch. Okay. So, of course, like Zeus do, they will drag some shit out, mm -hmm. which they did. Mm -hmm. And Krishan had the biggest smile on her face, child. So, anyway, 
They about to duke it out or whatever. And um, if you want to see the whole fight, you already know, hit the Patreon link um, down below because I'm not showing the fight. Uh, but anyway, they threw hands, child, and we didn't get to fully see it. So next on, okay, um, you actually see Whoa Vicky mm-hmm. get getting, getting her ass beat. <laughs> By one of the other chicks that came. It was with- Mar. I mean, not Marsh. It was Jay. Yeah. Jay. Now, Jay had just got dropped by Mariah Lynn and Tesseki. And Tesseki. Which it didn't but take Tesseki two of them. got her ass tagged now by Marsh. Tesseki didn't get tagged. Girl, please. No, well, you're you right. In the beginning, she was getting tagged. Oh, my God. But I think she ended it. Okay. All right. I she better she end ended. something. Let me because get Rashawn the titties off the screen. Because in the beginning, in the beginning, she, she was. Yeah, ass. she was. She yeah. was giving her run for her money for sure. Yeah. So they wouldn't show the full, well, that's cap. They showed a lot of it, but y'all know they drag it on for the next episode. Mm-hmm. So, uh, well, Vicky gets beat up by Jay. Uh, Jay. Marsh and Tesseki got got into it. Uh, I think they got the best of each other. We'll see Tesseki's part on the next episode because basically Marsh was getting the best of Tesseki in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that happened, and then after that, uh, what's her name? Um, DJ, DJ Sky fought uh, what Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna something. And Anna and um. Uh was it what's her name anyway Anna and the other chick who been beefing since day one honey uh Anna and girl y'all know who I'm talking about anyway they was over there having a whole conversation or whatever and they was trying to figure out if they was gonna squash the beef and here comes DJ Scott sneaking off on the side yeah and tagged Anna now I don't know what the hell going on with DJ Scott but maybe I think DJ Scott and what is that chick name fuck DJ Scott girl anyway I think they got like a little bond together or whatever they in cahoots together so like if if she just felt like something was wrong she felt like she was about to hit that bitch I feel like that's just how she did and that's just what she did yeah so yeah, that pretty much sums that up. Uh, y'all, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. We reacted to the full episode. It is on the Patreon link. Is in the description. Uh, y'all, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.